So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how to cheese and beat Melania relatively easy. How's it going guys? My name is TPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So I know this is a boss many people have struggled on and it's understandably, phase 2 is a bit of a pain but you know what? I've actually got a strat down where it's a, a, a walk in the park guys it really is a walk in the park and today i will explain all now this strat requires a few items nothing too major because obviously i want to keep these guides quite simple so more or less everybody can follow them there's no point in me creating a guide to defeating a boss and you need the best loot in the game and things like that that's that's just not what i do i want it so most people can follow it so yes what you will need is and firstly you want to get yourself a katana a fast firing or fast hitting primary weapon works just as good because what we're going to need it for is the ash of war we put on it so keep in mind you need a weapon that you can put an ash of war on that's fast hitting but quite powerful at the same time i recommend this katana the ones the samurai start with but you can also get it on any other class as well they're a cave near the start of the game now a guide to everything that i covered today and what you need will be in the video description because they're all items i've covered in the past but yes get this item and level it up no excuse now guys being at this stage in the game not to have leveled up weapons and in regards to this i'll post two guys in the video description of where you can find both the samba smithing stones and the uh just the smithing stones the bow bearings for both sets so you can purchase as many smithing stones and sambas as you want so weapons will be leveled up there's no excuse guys so yes get this katana because the ash of war on it is very important to this fight the ash of war is the whore frost stump which um i actually use quality here i haven't tried anything else uh others could actually work better you know i'm not even joking i just put quality on it and did it so fast yeah so yeah try anything else could could work better because what this does guys is it actually it's beneficial in phase one of this fight because you stomp and it staggers the boss it staggers that so she can't do them crazy attacks where i'm pretty sure some of these attacks are like unblockable as well you can't block some of them they're crazy okay so now we've got the katana and the ash of war out of the way actually let me show you the location of where the ash of war is comes from because it ain't that easy to get well it is and it ain't so carry a manner this this place right here guys you can see you need to work your way through this and you'll come to a boss fight here called Loretta who actually fight as well up Halig Tree um, once you beat him he will give you a something bowl it's like a uh, it's a sorcery thing anyway which I'll talk about in a second it's actually beneficial to this fight but yeah once you clear out him you come around here and you come this way come down these like little ledges that stick out of the mountain on your horse and come to this way now when you get here you'll see like footsteps running around in a circle if you're standing away these white footsteps and as soon as they hit your path you hit it you'll get the whole frost stump ash of war there and then ready and done simple as that okay so we need a staff now a staff of any kind will work it doesn't really matter as long as it's leveled up i do recommend this one though it's my favorite in the game but hey yours may differ Meteor right one would be just fine as long as well that scales with you but either way it would work just it, it doesn't matter it will work armor i'd recommend you putting on tank armor i did it in Muradan armor but if you've got any tank armor guys to both of these in the video description too they will be super beneficial too the next thing we need which is your mimic tier now we need the mimic tier because he acts as a decoy he acts as the sponge he acts as the tank he takes the boss's aggro while we do other work so the mimic tier is super beneficial to this i mean you could use other tiers uh, i mean not tiers my mind about other summons uh like the pumpkin head is a good tank i heard the jellyfish out as well but i haven't used them myself the black knife's great but the mimic tier like i said he just he copies what you do so if you're wearing that tank gear it's more beneficial to this that's your strat because he can obviously tank more damage so yes and also if you're using the samurai he will lay down some decent damage with that too or the katana he will lay down some decent damage with that so yeah okay so the reason we're using the staff guys is because there's a spell or a sorcery that we want to use and it's this one right here the loretta's mastery now there's no excuse you'll have this because you beat loretta before you come down to here um now it does require 
46 in intellect if you don't have this you can use this great bow which you get from lower out i believe in carrier manner which i just said but yeah either one of these will be great this one obviously hits harder this one doesn't hit harder but it obviously it requires way less intellect so yeah either of these will be perfectly fine or to be honest any powerful sorcery that tracks would be fine for this would be absolutely fine for this so keep that in mind you can test other things if you ain't got these or your intellect ain't high enough and guys i think that's about all you need to be honest i mean let me just have a quick check i mean there's nothing in regards to talismans so i've got here that benefits me anyway i mean you could put on things that would definitely help you there's many things here guys i just thought you know what i don't really want to go down the route of you need this talisman you need that talisman because i'm sending people all over the map uh, to come here i don't think it's necessary but hey use what you can that helps you simple as that guys okay so the boss fight you'll see on screen now so yeah what i actually try and do at the start is try and get her into the corner sometimes it works sometimes it don't if it does work for you when you get her in the corner and you and your mimic are going at her it just obliterates the health a bit especially if you're both stomping at the same time for me it's actually probably the uncleanest run i did uh when i actually killed her but you, you you'll see what i mean so you'll see i'll wait for her to walk forwards and what she know she normally does like a little bit of a jog and this time she didn't do that i don't know why but you can see the stump here it like stops in her tracks but you'll see how many of her attacks it pulls her out of as well which is just when you get like this and you just corner her, it's brutal it's brutal now we both were a bit slow on that attack then and that's the attack i hate that spinny one so like i said you want to take a step back so you mimic uh, your summons taking the most of the punishment because i think i only use one flask here for health i think i'll get caught i think i'll get caught yeah it's there get caught there and then we're good we just stomp her and you'll see these like it just pulls you out of her attacks so i, I was expecting us to spin then you'll see it again here watch you'll see that she goes i think she goes to do that crazy spin there and it stops her out of it so yeah it's, it's as easy as that it is as easy as that and that was sloppy I've done that so I've done that a few times without being hit. Now here guys, what you want to do is run straight forward. Run straight forward and you'll hit an invisible wall. Then just go left. That's how you avoid that one hit attack. So run forward, you'll hit a wall, and then just turn left. From here guys, you stand back, take your potions, and just shoot. Just shoot him away. Lock onto him if you've got a thumbstick in and shoot away. This is where that summon would be benefiting from that tank armor um and as much hp as you've got and anything else like that for that matter i mean i've got him in my redone armor he's still doing quite good he's taking all the aggro off the boss so i can just stand back and take him down and just take him out he really is as simple as that guys like i said i didn't get hit uh, in this second phase whatsoever and obviously having this this uh this mastery whether it's mastery just worked absolute wonders but like I said, you can stand back with any any uh, sorcery that tracks and do enough damage as long as your mimic, as long as your summon can tank damage. You can do this all day. And yeah, it really is that it really is that simple, people. It really is that simple. That's all you've got to do. Now I've seen a lot of other strats where people are in the fight, chopping her. Like, I mean, why you don't need to do it? I mean, obviously if you wanna do it that way, if that's your play style, if that's your game style, if that's your build, fair enough. But if you're struggling, that ain't the kind of guard I'll go through. Don't go running in with two, two katanas. Because that's just not going to work well for you. Stand back. Let your mimic, let your summon tank that damage. And you just, just shoot from afar. Shoot from afar. And it really is that easy, guys. And there we have it. If you watched the video and it helped you out, help me out by leaving a like. If you want to see more Elden Ring and never miss a video I upload, subscribe and turn notifications on. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.